What up YouTube, this is Supercharged iOS, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to flash the G-Box Midnight MX2 with the Linux version of Gotham. Now to get started you'll need the G-Box Midnight MX2, you'll need either a matchstick or a toothpick or something similar that's non-metallic, and you'll also need to download these two files, zip files from in the description, they'll be numbered links one and two. So once you download the first one, just go ahead and unzip it and leave number two the way it is. And once you unzip that file, the mx 241zip you'll end up with this file with three items. So go ahead and open that file and you'll see the factory update.aml, mx 2 updatezip and recovery.img. So go ahead and insert your SD card and go ahead and drag and drop each one of these files right here onto the root of the SD card, but not inside of any subfolder. So make sure that each one of these are by themselves on the SD card. Factory update, mx2 update.zip, and recovery.img. Now just give your computer a minute or two to move the files over to the SD card and you'll be ready to move on to the next step. Alright, now the files are finished copying, so you can go ahead and eject the SD card from your computer. And just remember to leave that other file, the MX Linux file that you downloaded from in the description. You'll need it in just a minute after you finish the first step, which is to restore the Gbox MX2 to the 1.1.5 firmware. Okay, now we have the G-Box Midnight MX2 unplugged from the power. So take the SD card that you just added the firmware files to. Go ahead and insert it into the MX2. Take the matchstick, or you can also use a toothpick or something similar that's non-metallic. And on the back of the device, you'll see right next to the HDMI port, an input that says AV for audio video. So go ahead and insert the toothpick into that hole and press until you locate the recovery button and go ahead and press it and keep it pressed and insert the power cable and continue to hold the recovery button pressed and continue holding it for about 15 seconds and you should see on your screen the Android character and just remember to be patient when going into flash mode just continue to hold that reset button it may take up to 30 seconds but as soon as you see this character on your screen You'll know that the process is working and everything will be finished shortly. And this is the next screen you'll see, the Android loading screen. That way you'll know the device has been completely restored to factory settings and will be ready for the next step, which is to flash the Linux version of Gotham onto the MX2. All right, now once you see this screen at the bottom, you should see the little house icon. Click on that. And then go to Launcher, go to Just Once, then click right here to go to All Apps, and then click here, OTA Updater, and you can see right here, ROM version 1.1.5. So this lets me know that the firmware is set back to factory settings. All right, now that the MX2 is back to factory settings, Let's go ahead and insert the SD card to the computer, open it up, and go ahead and remove those three files that you just added to your SD card. And now take link number two from in the description that you downloaded, and this zip file right here, mxlinux.zip, take this file and drag it and drop it onto the SD card by itself. Again, not in any subfolders, just like before. Just put it alone by itself. And once these files are copied over, you can go ahead and eject the SD card and move back over to the MX2. Okay, this time when you go into recovery mode, you don't need to insert the SD card until after you do these two things. So use your Gbox remote control and scroll down to wipe cache partition. Click on that 
and just wait a few seconds for the process to complete. Okay, now scroll down to wipe data, factory reset, click OK on that, and then scroll down to yes, delete all user data, and click OK on that. Okay, now that this process is complete and the box has been wiped to factory settings and all data has been deleted off the device, go ahead and insert the SD card that contains the Gotham zip file that was number two in the description and scroll down to apply update from EXT, click OK on that. And then scroll down one place to the update from SD card, click OK on that. And then locate the Linux file and you want to go with the one that doesn't have the dot and the underscore at the front so that would be the second one and click OK on that one and just wait a few seconds and I'll see you as soon as the process is complete okay now you can see installing MX Linux alright now process is complete so just go ahead and go to reboot system now click on that And when you see this MX Linux loading screen with the Penguin, you'll know that you did the process correctly. There we go, there's the Linux XBMC loading screen. Alright, now the first thing you want to do is go to System Settings. And go down to System, click on that. Scroll down to Internet Access and go over to Connection, click on that and go ahead and get your network for your Wi-Fi set up. And there we go, the Wi-Fi is connected. Now just scroll back and you can go on and finish setting up XBMC however you want. This is Supercharged iOS. This tutorial showed you how to install the Linux version of XBMC onto the Gbox Midnight MX2. Hope you guys found this tutorial pretty helpful. If you did and you enjoyed it, please do me a favor and click that like button. And don't forget to check out my other channel, youtube.com forward slash extreme tech global. And if you have any questions or comments, you can reach me at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS and twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. And links to all this will be in the description just below. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.